Basic facts for API 580 Respace Inspection Training Course. In this module, you shall learn about our e-learning services and benefits, know about API certification in general and API 580 in particular, how to apply and what you should expect on exam day. Why us? We shall provide you with all the knowledge and information you need to know in order to pass the API 580 exam. We shall explain the concepts and when necessary, shall elaborate by giving example. We shall provide you with flashcards for quick reference. We shall highlight areas that are potential exam questions. We shall provide you with mock exam questions that are specifically designed in line with the spirit of API exam questions. You may appreciate the fact that API wants to verify your understanding of the topics and hence the exam questions are mostly rephrased and given in the context of a scenario. Our course editors are all qualified API inspectors and engineers who edit the course based on the latest revision addendums, who have years of industry experience and many have passed the exam for the past three years, so we are fairly up to date. Our course content goes through several checkpoints to ensure that it's easy to understand, focused on the body of knowledge and is in line with ISO 29990 learning services for non-formal education and training, basic requirements for service providers, so you know what are you should expect to learn at the end of each module. How to apply? API examination are divided into two main groups, core exam, API 510, 570, 653, and non-core exam, API 571, 580, 936, test 1169, cipher, cipher. All API examinations are held three times a year and each API certification has a three-week exam window that you should choose from at the time of registration. For exam schedules and fees, please click, click on the link below here, schedules and fees. Or go to API ICP and look for schedules and fees. After registration and approval by API, your three-week window exam is frozen and you can only select the location, date and time Prometric Test Center. Seats are limited at your preferred Prometric location, so select the date and time as soon as you can. Prometric is subcontracted by API to all the computer-based examinations. The deadline to get API authorization email is approximately two and a half months or 10 weeks prior to the selected test window. To get the API approval in order to sit for the particular test, uh, File the application form by registering with API ICP by using this link below. Apply. Create an account and then upload the supporting documents, your certification and qualification, provide two references and pay the fee. API shall verify your claimed experience by contacting via email the two references you have provided. It is recommended to brief your references so they know which inspection fees and for how long you have claimed the experience for. This would avoid any discrepancy that may result from your claimed experience against their verification. There are more than 3,000 parametric te test centers across 160 countries worldwide to choose from. All parametric test centers operate on the first come first serve basis, therefore API cannot promise that you will be able to obtain a seat at your preferred location. It is highly therefore recommended that you schedule your exam immediately after receiving your exam authorization notice email from API. If seats are not available, try a different date within the same window or choose another location. Please note that once uh, during registration you select one of the available three-week window, uh, you cannot change it, which means you can only attempt the exam within the selected three-week window unless you decide to reschedule and pay the fees, which is as good as failing the exam. Remember that no-show and failing 
book a seat or even inability to book a seat at your preferred test center is as good as failing the exam itself. Although the deadline to get your application approved prior to your selected test window is around two and a half months, you might not be able to find a suitable available date or worse, you might not be able to get a seat at your favorite test center within the allocated three week window if you receive your API uh, authorization email too late. So it is recommended that you register and get API approval and get the authorization notice at least three months prior, prior to your sh scheduled exam. That is, do not choose the next immediate test window, but choose the one that is at least three to four months away. This is especially important for core API exams that need a full day slot. For other API exams, such as API 580, there is normally a good chance of getting the convenient test location and date at the next available test window. You can change the location and date, but only within the allocated three week window up to 30 days before the last day of test window free of charge and between 5 to 29 days for a fee of 70 US dollars subject to availability. Normal is possible to change the time and location for API 580. API gives each candidate 12 consecutive months to pass an exam beginning from the first scheduled test window. This means you can attempt an exam for a maximum of four times. If you do not pass the exam within a year for any reason such as exam failure, fail to schedule the exam, no show up at the scheduled date, etc., you have to apply all over again and pay the full fees. One of our trainees received the API exam authorization notice for API 570 seven months before the selected test window, but he attempted to book a place with Prometric only two months before the test window. As a result, his closest Prometric test center was already full, so he had to fly to another city to attend the exam. Therefore, it is strongly recommended that you book your place as soon as you receive the API authorization notice. API certification, recertification, rescheduling, and cost. API certification is valid for three year term and the exam cost $365 for initial exam or the first exam. After three years, you need to apply for recertification, demonstrating that you work as an API inspector for 20% of the time. And recertification costs $260. You may apply for recertification 90 days prior to the certificate expiration date and up to 90 days after the expiry of certificate, subject to a late application fee of $150. If an application is not submitted by end of the 90-day grace period, your certificate will expire. A new certification of fee must be submitted and you, you will need to pass a full examination in order to be recertified. API inspectors are required to take an online open book quiz every six years in order to recertify. Each quiz has 25 questions that address the changes in the relevant API codes over the past six years. You have a total of four hours to complete the quiz and it may be paused or interrupted up to three times. If you fail the quiz, you may be able to take it again. But if you fail the quiz a second time, you will not be able to recertify and you shall need to submit a fresh application and take the full version of the exam in order to certify again. If you fail, you need to apply for rescheduling and pay the $150 re-examination fee. After requesting for rescheduling and paying the fee, you shall receive the approval letter via email within a day or two. You shall then book your seat with the Prometric as soon as possible. Remember, you have one year from the date of your first exam to pass, which entitles you to maximum three attempts, actually it's four attempts. Exam day. Make sure you reach the Prometric test center at least half an hour before the scheduled time. If you reach the test center 15 minutes after the exam, they may refuse to admit you. Prior to letting you in to sit for the exam, they shall check your photographic government issued photo ID, such as passport or driving license, and ask you to sign in. Check 
check you with a metal detector, ask you to turn off your sleeves. Check your pockets, look at your reading glasses to ensure it doesn't have any camera for recording and ask you a security question such as date of birth and email address and take your picture. You cannot carry anything with you except a bottle of water. No ornaments are allowed except a wedding ring. They shall supply you with a couple of green colored A4 size papers and a pencil for taking notes plus a simple calculator. You are required to have a valid government issued photo identity card such as a passport or a driving license and keep it with yourself during the exam. If you don't produce a government photo ID, the Prometric Center, you shall be refused entry and it is treated as a no show up which is as good as failing the exam. Also make sure that your government issued photo ID driving license is valid. If your ID is expired, you shall be refused entry. During 653 exam, one of our candidates had an expired driving license and was refused entry, although he returned half an hour later with a valid passport, but by the time it was too late, for metric said. As a result, he had to pay the rescheduling fee, 300 US dollar, and appear for the exam six months later. It's recommended to check your photo ID to ensure it's valid and preferably carry two valid government issued photo ID as plan B. It's simply not worth it to be refused for an ID issue after all the time, effort, and money you have put in. Prior to examination, you shall be given the key to a locker to keep your belongings. You are not allowed to use the locker until you have completed the exam. Immediately upon completion of the exam, you shall receive an email notifying you whether you have passed or failed. Your preliminary exam result may be a preliminary pass, which is normally a pass. Marginal result too close to call may be a pass if you're lucky, and a preliminary fail, which is normally a fail. You shall receive your confirmed score up to eight weeks after the last day of two weeks or three weeks examination window, sometimes sooner. It takes another six to eight weeks for the receipt of confirmed the score of the certification and the wallet card to arrive by post. The pass mark is 70%, minimum 400, and a maximum scale of 500 for all the API examination. No negative marking is applied, therefore answer all the questions. At the end, click the review all button and peruse through the list to ensure you have not skipped any question. You can challenge any question you may wish by writing on his comment sheet or caption, but please note that the clock keeps running, so you shall be spending the time to fill in the comment sheet from your allocated examination time. After ID verification, security check, letting you into examination room, you will first go through the tutorial, which lasts for maximum 10 minutes or earlier if you press end session button, and then the actual exam begins and the clock starts ticking. You can see the remaining time at the right hand corner of the computer screen. The reference document in PDF format is available on the computer screen. The word search is disabled. Now, this one is only for API file. Uh, there is no, this is a closed book one, so there is no, no PDF here. Remember, if during the examination you wish to leave the examination room for, say, using a toilet, you need to take your ID with you, report to the security outside the examination room, and sign out. On return, you shall go through the same initial security check and sign in. During all this time, the clock is running, so therefore use your time wisely. Sitting for exam can be stressful, so try to have enough sleep the night before. On the exam day, just peruse the important parts of reference documents or look at the figures and charts for a couple of hours maximum. Let your brain rest. You need to be alert and full of energy to endure the exam. Remember, your exam is not completed until your time is up or when you press the end exam button, which asks for confirmation to ensure that you have not pressed it accidentally. You shall also see the list of attempted and non-attempted questions at the end by pressing review all button this would ensure that you have not left any question and answer. To learn more, click on the frequently asked questions below, which belongs to API. There is a tutorial prior to the exam and explains how the buttons work. You can also find the tutorial via the following link here.
The example automatically start after the 10 minutes allocated time for tutorial or if you end it earlier. The icons are simple and user friendly. Remember that you can flag off those questions you are not sure of so you can return to them during the remaining time. You can also right click on selected answers to eliminate them if you are confident that they are definitely the wrong answer. This will narrow down the possible right answer and therefore increase your chance of getting the right answer. You can either review all the questions once again or review the flagged off question only during the remaining time left. You can see the remaining time at the upper hand right corner. There are a few good tutorials in the API ICP website. Remember that the clock does not stop for any reason once you start the test. When you use the bathroom or when you wish to make a comment on a particular question or for any other reason whatsoever, so use the allocated time wisely. The allocated time seems to be sufficient to answer all the questions as well as reviewing them. Thank you for listening.